The company now says fewer Tulsa workers will lose their jobs. Two News reporter Casey Roebuck joins us now live with why and how many employees are affected. Casey? Well, Russ, the union doesn't want to see any of its employees lose their jobs, but they say considering how massive these layoffs could have been, they're glad to see these numbers come down to just 443. Initially, it looked as though 2,700 Tulsa employees would be laid off. After negotiations and an agreement on a contract, that number came down to 1,300. 742 employees took the early out. The union says some of them will get close to $40,000. Another 50 left on their own in order to get up to 13 weeks of severance pay. Union leaders say of the 443 people who will be laid off, 300 are aircraft mechanics who are eligible for other jobs within the company. The uh, aircraft mechanics will be uh, have an opportunity to fill a vacancy in a lower paying position. Um, that will be a $5 an hour pay cut for them if they choose to do that. The other option is they would be able to bump somebody else in the system to maintain their pay. And the other option would be if they ended up taking the street. Now, the remaining employees who will be laid off are fleet service clerks. Some of them could move to other jobs depending upon how the maintenance layoffs shake out. And we should know those numbers by November. Reporting live in North Tulsa, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you. All right, Casey, thanks.